Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new to my channel. Today's video is a crochet tutorial and we're going to be making this skirt and this is a simple mini skirt but you could make it into a midi or maxi skirt too. This is an adaptable pattern, it's made to measure so no matter what size you are you can make this pattern uh, which I always strive to do for all of my patterns. Um, but yeah, this is the skirt I made. You don't even need to measure yourself. It is just like trying it on, um, holding it against your body. And yeah, this is the skirt I made. This is the front and this is the back of the skirt. As you can see, it has a nice increase from the waist to hips. Um, and we do this to make it fit your body perfectly. It's not stretching anywhere. It is just perfectly made for you. And uh, this is a beginner friendly pattern. You will have to know a couple of stitches. You'll need uh, single crochets, slip stitches, chains obviously, and double crochets. You will also need to know how to make increases, but if any of these things you're unfamiliar with or you just need to be reminded a little bit, I do show you how to do everything in the video. But just in case, those are the stitches that if you don't know any of them, I would recommend looking them up first and seeing how to do them. Uh, but yeah, still very beginner friendly. And I use this very beautiful blue color changing yarn. If you are a beginner, it's very fun to use color changing yarn because you can make really interesting looking things without having to do very complicated stitches. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want a colorful skirt, I would recommend doing something like that. But obviously you could also make it all one color for just a nice basic. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy this pattern, and uh, without further ado, let's get into it. To start, you're going to need some yarn. I used about a weight 3 yarn, and um, yeah, it's this multicolored yarn. I got it from a store called the Zeeman in the Netherlands, and as you can see, it calls for a 4mm crochet hook. Always look on that little back thing of your yarn, because it will tell you what hook to use. And often they're right, sometimes they're not, you can always kind of see, but in this case, a 4mm hook was perfect. And yeah, you're going to need that as well, obviously. And then you're going to need a darning needle to weave in your loose ends when we're done, and a pair of scissors to cut your yarn off. You will also need two stitch markers. We're going to start by making a slip knot, and this is how you start any crochet project. And uh, yeah, there we go. And you're going to insert your hook into the loop and pull it tight. And then we're going to grab the long end of the yarn and we're going to start chaining. And we are going to chain 10 chains. And this is the same for any size you're going to make it, you're going to chain 10. And what we're going to do is we're making the ribbing, the waistband of the skirt. Um, and yeah, that's the first step. Then you're going to chain one extra, and we're going to go in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to make a single crochet, which you insert your hook and you pull through your yarn, and then you pull the yarn through both loops. And you're going to make 10 single crochets in all of the chains. And that's going to be our first real row of the project. And make sure that you have 10 um, if this is your first project, I recommend counting occasionally to make sure that you still have 10 stitches every time because we don't want to make any increases or decreases. When you finish the row, we're going to start on our second row, and you're going to chain one and turn your work. 
and we're only going to work on one side of the V. So normally you would insert your hook under the V and go into both loops, but we're only going to go into the loop that's furthest away from us with every stitch. So we're still going to have 10 stitches, but we're just only going into the back loop. And you can see I push my crochet hook in between the V and then under the back loop. And um, yeah, you're going to do this till the end of the row. And this is actually the way you do the whole waistband of the skirt. Um, this creates a nice ribbed effect that is also stretchy. And that makes it fit your waist perfectly and also be able to stretch over your hips, uh, which is obviously what we want for a skirt. So you're going to do the same technique until the waistband fits all the way around your waist when it's not stretched. And that's important because it has to be able to stretch and go over your hips. So unstretched, it should fit your waist like nice and snug and stretched, it should fit over your hips. And that's really important. And yeah, you're just going to keep doing this. At the end of every row, you chain one and you turn your work and you keep going into the back loop only. And yeah, that's how you make the waistband and I'll see you when I have one that's the length of my waist. When your waistband is the right length to fit all the way around your waist, we're going to attach the two ends together. And you want to make sure that it's not twisted, it lies flat on top of each other. And we're going to attach it with slip stitches. And the side that we'll attach it on will be the inside. On the side that our crochet hook is already attached to, we're going to use the back loop only. So the one that's closest to the other side um, that we're attaching it to. And then on the other side, we only have one loop left because that's the original chain. And you want to make sure that you have 10 there and you start at like number one and you end at 10. Um, these should be pretty easy to count. You can just count the little like ridges there you see. And we're going to do slip stitches, which is that you go into the two like little loops that you want to go into. So we're going on this side back loop only. And then on the original side, we're going in one of those little tiny ridges you can see right there and you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to pull through all three of your loops and that should create a slip stitch so because we have 10 stitches we want to have 10 slip stitches if you have more or less than you missed uh, or added extra so make sure you have 10 just so it's like as neat as possible and yeah you're just going to do this all the way to the end it's super simple um, super useful stitch for attaching pieces and it's also very secure make sure to not do it too tightly um, because then your waistband might be like scrunched together a little bit too much you also want to make sure that you don't do it too loosely because that way the stitches will stretch and they'll be like a see-through part in the back of your skirt and you don't want that obviously so you have to find a nice happy medium
When you've done all 10 of the slip stitches, you can flip it right side out like that and then see how it looks and see if you like it, if you did a good job. And then we're going to start on the actual body of the skirt and we're going to make it attached to the waistband. So we don't have to cut our yarn or anything, we're just working it right onto there with the yarn that was attached from the slip stitches. And we're going to start by chaining two. And this will create like the first, like not double crochet, but the height for double crochet. And then we're just going into the waistband and we're creating double crochets. It is kind of out of the shot here, so I'm really sorry about that. You just want to keep making double crochets. And as you can see in your waistband, there's like um, peaks and valleys and you want to go into every peak and every valley. And that's how I got an even amount of stitches all around the skirt is by doing that. So go into every peak and every valley and then you should have a nice even uh, row of stitches. And it seems a little weird, but this first row is, is the hardest part. And after that, we're going to just make stitches into the double crochets, which is a lot easier. So just get through this row and I promise you it will be easier from here. But yeah, just work into every peak and every valley. When you've gone all around the waistband and you've gone to last peak and valley, we're going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch of the row. So not the chain two gap, but into the top of that first double crochet. And we're just going to make a slip stitch like we did before. And what we're going to do then is we're going to add stitch markers to the edges and you're going to count uh, where they should be. You're going to count the amount of stitches, divide it by two, and then put them on both sides of your skirt. And we need these because we're going to make increases to make our skirt fit around our hips nicely. Uh, and yeah, so you have to do that. That's pretty easy though. And then we're going to go and we're going to chain two again and we're going to turn our work and we're going to start making double crochets into the stitches. When we do that, you want to make sure that you don't go into the slip stitch that we made at the end of the row because there's one of those and then the next one is the actual stitch. So make sure that the little V at the top is attached to one of the little sticks and that way you should be going into the right stitch. And we're just going to make double crochets into the double crochets until we get to the stitch marker and there we're going to make our first increase and an increase is super easy i'll show you how to do it um and yeah um that's how you make most of the rows of this skirt it's very simple just double crochets so when you get to the stitch marker we're going to take it out of the stitch and we're going to make our increase there. And an increase is super easy. It basically just means that you're putting multiple stitches into one stitch. So instead of putting one stitch into that double crochet, we're going to put two, which will increase our number of stitches for that total row by two stitches because we're doing two increases. Um, so here we'll have two double crochets into that one double crochet. And then we're going to add our stitch marker back in to the second stitch of that um, increase. And that way you'll know to do your next increase in the same spot, just so you have a nice even look to your skirt. And if it starts forming like a point, don't worry because we're going to go do rounds with no increases at the end and that will go away that won't stay that way so don't um, freak out if it starts forming like a triangular point um, that's fine i had that too and it goes away so don't worry so after that increase just keep doing um, double crochets into every double crochet until we get to the next increase point and when we've gotten there we're going to do the same thing so we're going to take our little stitch marker out and we're going to put two double crochets into that one double crochet stitch. And that way we'll have increased by two this row and we're always gonna do that. We're only going to do these two increase points on the skirt for um, a certain amount of rows. It depends on um, your size, obviously. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to do double crochets till we reach the end of the row again. 
We're ending the second row the same way we ended the first row, and that is by doing a slip stitch into the first stitch of the row. I'm just finishing up my double crochets here, and here I'm looking to find the first stitch and to go into that top little V. And that's how we're going to end the row. And when we've done that slip stitch, we're going to chain up two and turn our work and then do another row. And the reason we're chaining and turning instead of just going in the circle is because this way you'll have a nice clean edge, um, especially because I'm using color changing yarn, but also you'll see a line in your yarn. Um, if you start doing just circular motions just one way, um, you'll get like a crooked line down the back of your skirt. And you obviously don't want that. And this is the way to get a nice clean look. And yeah, um, just keep doing rounds like that, going into every double crochet, except for where we have the stitch markers, and there we're going to do two double crochets. And that's just what you're going to keep doing until your skirt reaches the widest part of your hips and butt. And then we're going to um, change what we're doing. So I'll see you when we get there. Right here I'm showing you how you can try on the skirt, and that's by pulling out uh, your little loop there with your crochet hook that way you won't lose your stitch and you can just tighten it again by pulling that piece of yarn and that way you can try on your skirt without accidentally pulling out stitches and it's important to try this on because it is made to measure you want to make sure that you are making it to your body and this way you don't have to measure anything you can just put it on and see how it looks when your skirt is long enough that it hits the widest part of your hips and butt you're going to stop doing any increases. So um, yeah, for me that was 26 rows. So I'm going to start the 27th row now. And when I reach the stitch marker here, I'm going to put one stitch in each stitch. I'm not going to uh, do any um, increases. So yeah, I'll show you how to do that when you get there. It's really simple, but I'll show you anyway. When you've reached the stitch marker and you've done all the stitches before it we're just going to take the stitch marker out and you won't be needing it anymore so you can just put it away and we're going to put only one double crochet in the stitch that the stitch marker was in not two we're done with the decreases and then you're just going to continue going around putting one double crochet in each double crochet um, so yeah, and you just do this till the skirt is your desired length, and when we're there I'll let you know how many rows I've done, and yeah, I'll see you then. And remember to also do this on your other stitch marker, only one double crochet in each double crochet, no more increases, and yeah, I'll see you when uh, my skirt is the length I want it to be. When your skirt is the right length, uh, for me that was uh, 43 rows, we're going to do our last slip stitch into the first stitch of our row. So I'm going to go in there, and then I'm going to make a slip stitch. Then we're going to grab our scissors, and I'm just going to cut the yarn a little bit away from the project. Then I'm going to make another little like chain here basically, I'm gonna pull that through and then I'm gonna pull the whole yarn through and then you tighten that. Then you have a little knot and then all you have to do is weave in this loose end and your skirt is done. So let's see what it looks like on. So this is the final result. As you can see, mine is a mini skirt, but you can make it any length you want to. And I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. I love the yarn I chose. It's super easy to get on and off because the waistband is so nice and stretchy and yeah it's just a super comfortable crochet piece and yeah um, I love it a lot if you make a skirt with my pattern I would love it if you would tag me on Instagram or in a YouTube video or whatever uh, because I would love to see uh, your projects and yeah um, if you enjoyed the video uh, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos I do crochet, knit, uh, sustainable fashion, thrift hauls, styling videos. So if any of that sounds good to you, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a really great day, and I hope to see you all in the next video.
Bye, everyone.